What's up, guys? It's Robert, and I'm coming to you from the studio today. Pardon the um, looks of everything, the way it looks. Um, but hey, quick shout out to Jen Sincero. Uh, You're a badass. You're a badass at making money. Those are two of her books that I highly recommend. Um, if if uh, you guys have been following me at all, then then you may know that on my other channel, Hey Robert, that I went through a 26-day challenge. Uh, $40,000 in 26 days was my challenge, and I failed. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm just reminded about you know, life has gotten better for me. Let's, let's just uh, say that. So life has gotten a whole lot better for me. And yet, it's also uh, continued the challenge, okay? So I got a huge windfall of money and I I'm it was so much better off I was able to invest further in the studio at this point. Uh it came right as I needed it too. Uh the, I, I literally had uh bills. I had about three or four thousand dollars that was coming due and it came the the money was available on the day that I needed it. Okay, so now we're we're gonna work on <laughs> I'm going to work on getting that a little sooner than the day of, okay? And, and um, you know, setting a, a, a margin has become super important there. I'm still working with the universe on that. And uh, maybe I'll let you know when, when you know, once I get, get the, the uh, figure out where, you know, when that, when that comes or whatever. Um, the, the thing today, though, which just a quick thought is uh, I, I've been in the slumps for the last couple of days. I had a great um, a great few days before that, uh, but I have just been, you know, just sort of in the slumps. Where am I? Well, you know, where are my desires? What are they, you know, what are happening? I've been asking the question, um, universe, I know that I'm so much more than this. Show me. Uh, thanks to Matt, uh, Manifest with Matt on uh, on YouTube. Go check his channel out as well. Uh, anyway, you know, like I have, uh, I, I literally just laid on the sofa last night and uh, was was wondering, okay, what in the, you know, like, I just don't feel like feeling happy right now. And I knew that it was important for me to just flow with that. So I, I did. I just laid on the sofa. And you know what happened is I got on YouTube and I started watching videos. And I'm, I'm you know, internally, this the big snooze, uh, the way Jen refers to it, you know, it's just telling me, oh, God, you're on YouTube. You should be going back and recording scripts, right? I'm recording scripts for $20 a script. It's, it's a one-tenth of what I should be charging for this. And that's another thing that's been on the plate, right? They're just so overwhelmed, you know, and everything. What I got on was a playlist of songs. And some of my favorite artists were in that list. Justin Timberlake is one of my absolute favorite artists. I love Trolls. I love Trolls World Tour. Um, you know, I you, you can you can put your opinion in the comments below, but you're not going to change my opinion on this. I absolutely love Justin Timberlake and what he's done for the world. So anyway, there we go. Maybe you're one of me. There we go. That that's a turn. Anyway, you know, there was uh, the, on my mind yesterday coming home. I I went and I got my eyebrows um uh, waxed. That was something that was really that, that meant something to me. And so I turned around like literally in the middle of traffic. I did that. Bef before that, I'd gone to a restaurant, right? And I I gave away my one hundred dollar bill as a tip to this uh, waitress on her on there. Her name was Esther. Hi Esther, if you're watching this, um, and I, I told her I said I carried this for a, you know a couple months or so, and I did not spend this. I I chose that I was not going to spend this one hundred dollar bill. It was going to be my ticket to to uh, winning, you know, the next money and so on, and. Um, I said, uh, but it just felt right. It felt like she she just had this wonderful uh, personality, wonderful, you know, way. She she was just serving people, and the, she even ended uh, her her servings with, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure to serve you today. And I, I just, yeah. Anyway, it was the right time, and and we we both we sort of teared up a little bit. And she said she was going to go back and cry now, <laughs> but. <laughs> um, 
you know, as she, she reminded me of my mom, there were just synchronicities all over the place yesterday, right? So I had this great moment and then down to the depths. Um, but then I woke up afterwards, you know, from the sofa and, and I went to bed, actually, which I didn't think I was going to even make it to bed. So I got to sleep in a wonderful bed. I got to have a wonderful breakfast this morning. You know, all this leading up to this moment. And, um, you know, we can be our hardest our hardest critic sometimes, that big snooze, which I don't want to vilify. It's not it's not necessarily our enemy. It's it's a part of our design. It's a part of our experience here. But when it comes up with with these thoughts of you are just wasting your time when everything says you should be in the studio, you should be recording, I have 12 scripts to record. And I, what I'm going to end up doing, I've already decided, I'm going to tell her 10 is all I've got today. And I'm going to take the time. I'm going to go and get a massage. That's been on my mind. It's been part of my, when I was leaving the, the um, uh, place that does the waxing for eyebrows and all, I, I, I had this little niggle, go and get a massage. But I was like, no, nah, I don't have the money for that. You know, or I, you know, I don't want to spend the money for that. And um, I, I'm not saying that that was a bad move to go home necessarily, but it just, felt like that is the one thing that I should be doing today. So I've gone and booked a massage. I'm going to get a time massage. It's going to be great. Listen to yourself. Listen to that, that small voice inside. You have everything you need to make it to whatever you want, whatever you desire, whatever experience you are here to experience. You have the blueprint inside of you. And, I, you know, I, I am not a believer, like Jen said, I am not a believer in, in the fact that everybody has to go out and save the world. And it just bubbles up in me, uh, you know, as I'm, as I'm saying this and just before making this video, uh, you know, I, I, I want an Audi SQ8 or RSQ8. Um, I think it's the RSQ8 that I'm going to end up really wanting, uh, more than anything else. And, um, you know, this is not for everyone, okay? This is not for third graders. So if you're on here and you're a third grader, you may know that by by this really jarring with you. But this is for that one, you know, th those people who have who have progressed to this place. An Audi RSQ8 or an Audi R8 or whatever vehicle or, or whatever it is that you want, that most expensive meal, most expensive hotel, whatever it may be. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just going and helping and feeding the homeless. Okay. That, whatever it is for you, um, that can be just as important as saving the homeless, as going out and giving the person on the street $20. In fact, I'd even make the case that it could be better to do that. If it's what, if it's really what your inner guidance, um, infinite intelligence, God, whatever you want to call it, if that is what is telling you to do that, if that's what you, you feel like you should do, go do it and go do it without any, any guilt and everything. This is your, your license to do that, your ticket to do that. I'm, I'm telling you, you can do that. Okay. But you need to be able to tell yourself that too. Okay. So that's important. Um, so anyway, I thought, you know, hey, why not from my high place of just really being high vibe and I feel great about this, go do, go do what you want. Go, go do it. Um, book yourself that massage, go get a mani-pedi, whatever it is. Okay. And enjoy yourself. Bye.